I'm going to be introducing Netapur. Netapur is an online luxury uh, website. It was first founded in the year 2000 and it's currently worth 350 years over the 10 years and still growing strong. I'm going to be talking about the overall strategies that Netapur use. One of their strategies is called the upsell strategy. This helps customers online see how the dresses would look on them, how they'll feel on them in a way. Also, I'm going to be talking about the long term, no, long growth strategy. Throughout the 10 years, they've been rushing it, they've been taking their time and making sure that they go into new markets and come up with new ideas, but still taking their time. Netpool also use celebrities to advertise their products, and this makes people want to be like the celebrities, so they want to make them buy their luxury, luxury clothes. Also, they use famous brands like Jimmy Shoe to help get more invest investors and show them that they can do it and they're a strong business. To retain their customers, Netaport used their 10 years of information they got to, to the, about them and make sure they focus on them and make them their first priority. Hello, my name is Matus Harman. Netaport established itself early on when internet retailing of luxury brands was considered risky and sustainability of such a market highly questionable. Being one of the first entrants who purely focus on this retail channel allowed Netapote gain large market share, exploring new ways made the Netapote distinctive of other retailers. Since 1999, when the company became incorporated, they gained most valuable experience over the time. Targeting cash-rich and time-poor customer segment, Netapote solved a problem for this group Giving, giving them an extra save time by making sure shopping accessible from any computer at home or office with internet access, but also through their smartphone optimized retail platform. The second most distinctive advantage that Netapote has over its competitors is their massive database of current and past customers accumulated over the years. Netapote analyzes this database and learns from behavior and trends to adjust their focus and strategy. Getting new customers to acknowledge Netapote is getting more costly. Although there is a high investment needed to build a successful luxury online retail brand, the cost of technology for entering to this retail channel massively dropped in recent years, making it more accessible for a wide range of entrants. Netapote is online-only based retailer, which can have some disadvantages. Considering the fact that Netapote offers top designers brands for high cost, main problem is missing physical contact with the merchandise itself. This can influence the decision process and even discourage some buyers. Recent move to targeting new markets like a sister company, Mr. Porter, focused on male customers or Outnet, a discount store, suggests direction that Netapote is handling over ever shrinking market share. Hello, I am Saisha and I am going to talk about the industry life cycle of the Netaport company. Each industry when emerging to market passes through four different stages. These stages are introduction, growth, maturity and decline. Let's have a look on how Netaport fits into these stages. The introduction stage. When Netaport was introduced to market in 2000, it was not the best time for launching a new online venture. That was the time of a dot-com buzz which had severely affected investors' faith in e-commerce. In that economic climate, Natalie Massenet announced that she was not only launching a luxury retailer but also the retailer was going to sell the most exclusive, the most expensive and the most coveted fashion. The firm faced the economic climate change and initial challenges during its introductory stage. During this time, the firm went through up, certain ups and downs and in 2000, the firm broke even. This short, turn, this short turn around time for the website generated immense supplier and investor confidence. The growth strategy. Being the first mover in the online luxury retail sector, Netaporter tapped into a whole new market whose very existence skeptics had severely doubted in the past. 
Currently, millions of customers buy their designer labels online at NetApporter. Due to its coherent strategy and a continued growth, the company is now in its current position as one of the top retailers for the luxury market. The growing size of this market is attracting interest from companies such as LVMH as well as other luxury brands. The company kept growing after 2004 and 2006 its sales rose to 43 million euros. In 2008, Neapolitan launched a website, theathnet.com, selling the previous season designers in a discounted price. In the same year, the company saw sales rise by 48%. Again, a global market share is an aspiration for every business. But in reality, the demand for luxury apparel greatly differs from region to region and from country to country. For the foreseeable future, Neapolitan can expect any further growth to come from markets outside the US and Western Europe. The challenge the company faces in the near future is the transition for, from being the first mover in the industry to a player in an increasingly competitive market. Thank you. Hello, I'm Alexander Namun and I'm doing the industry analysis. Related to buyer and supplier power, luxury market has two types of consumers, current consumers and occasional consumers. Let it to current consumers, the main difficulty is to make someone buy something very expensive without even touching it or trying it on. The buyer power is huge, that's why it has in the delivery time and the uh, customer services. After dot-com crash, most of the famous brands were afraid of selling luxury goods on internet. But Nathalie Massoev was very competent in convincing them. Nowadays, for the majority of the brands, Netapote is very helpful, a very helpful window because consumers have faith on the, in this, this website. Even if a lot of websites like Netapote emerge, they can be considered as substitution. As a substitution to luxury fashion, there is low price fashion like H&M or Zara. The collection is based on new tendency and most of the time they copy luxury brands. When talking about the competitors, we can talk about ASOS, which one of the, the most important. They start in 2000, it's one of the older e-store. They sell luxury fashion and beauty real product. Their turnover was 222 million mm -hmm. of dollars. They innovate by starting a platform where people can buy clothes from the best brand, but also sell vintage clothes if they want to. So if they want to. Indeed, they develop a social network for people with the same love of fashion. The other main competitor is Stop Style. They start in 2000, and their turnover is between 10 and 50 million. Shop Style is a fashion search engine. Its uniqueness is its aim to emulate real shopping experiences, the browsing, the de deliberation, and finally the purchase. Shop style team give also personal advices to their client. When talking about their key challenges, we can say that uh, many people use uh, nowadays the website as a fashion inspiration. So the main challenge is how to convert casual browsers into current buyers. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Dali. I'm going to talk about the factors of Natal Potter. Economic factor. In those countries with active economic conditions, people are more willing to pay on luxury clothing. And the performance of Natal Porter is greatly affected by a recession of economy. Social factor. People buying luxury clothing is sometimes to fulfill the need for social networking. Luxury is kind of symbol of high class in the society. People sometimes need to integrate themselves. Technological factors. Natal Porter has its special online category viewing system. It intends to give customers the best shopping experience. And the new internet technology will affect the whole industry of online shops. Legal factor and political factor. The law could affect the performance of the company, such as the UK Sales of Goods Act. As Natal Porter ships globally, the law in different countries are not the same, which changes with the political conditions in different areas, such as the taxes. Results analysis. The firm has the team who are responsible to investigate what product is the most wanted by customer and import them directly from the production form in order to satisfy most people's wants and needs. <music>